Adrian, and welcome to EntrepreneurCast. It's such a great pleasure to have you with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me. So, Adrian, uh, before we get started with, your bus- with the business side of things, tell us a little bit about who are you outside of your business and what do you enjoy doing in your spare time? Okay, so uh, business does take up a lot of my time, but the other thing that takes up um, the rest of my time um, is I'm a Samaritans volunteer. So I volunteer for our local branch. So I listen on the telephones. I help with the training. I help with regional training. Um, absolutely love. Um, and it's, it's not all doom and gloom uh, being a Samaritan. There's actually some lighthearted moments and you get to help people in the local community. And it's, it's, it's nice to give something back. So that takes up a lot of my time outside of um, work. And I also have a step granddaughter who's nearly four. Uh, so that is also another big time consuming thing. Um, but we get to go to the zoo and to uh, see life world is actually on Saturday. So yeah, it's all good fun. Nice. Uh, and what about your business? Tell us about what is it that you do and what inspired you to start it? Okay, so Decoded Insights Limited is my business. Um, and we are a market research company in essence that specializes in emotion. We also do training and we do consultancy work with our clients. Um, what inspired me, I've always been interested in how people behave and how they react and getting to how they really feel, not just what they say they feel, um, that there is a big difference. And a lot of people don't always say how they really feel. Uh, so I started about 10 years ago. I started looking at personology and I couldn't really find an awful lot of science on personology, which is that's how the structure of our face reveals aspects of our personality. Um, it is something I've gone back to a few years ago and I'm fully trained in that as well. But the emotions on our face, there's loads of science out there and it's a really interesting subject and it helps anybody who communicates with other people to really get to the truth of how other people feel also to understand yourself and how you really feel about things as well which can be quite surprising that's that's amazing it's it sounds very much like um so can you like sort of read people's emotions through their face is that kind of thing that you do yeah I, I remember once I, I watched a couple of episodes of this movie, uh, Lie to Me. Yes. And he is, is that kind of like, is it that particular? You can literally analyze things. And it is think. a drama. So there is a little bit of poetic license there. But I actually trained with the scientific director of Lie to Me. Um, oh, wow. Dr. Rosenberg. Uh, she worked on the series. So there's a little bit of poetic license with what um, Cal Lightman does. But in essence, that is the science. It's really hard to do in real time, unless someone shows a macro expression, which lasts two to five seconds. A micro expression, you know, it's gone on and off the face before you even had to register it. So that's very hard to do in real time. And the way we do that as a business is we film um, interviews with market research participants that are willing, and we'll then get to the truth how they really feel. But we have to play it 15 frames per second to capture those micro expressions. Wow. So it does have a little bit of poetic license there, but in essence, that is the science. Awesome. So Adrian, uh, well, between, you know, your business and analyzing people and family time and, you know, helping people, what would you say your typical day looks like? Um, they're all so very different, you know, and that's part of what I love. I, I don't think I could be a person who does the same thing day in, day out. Um, a typical day or a, t- a typical week would be easier. So normally two or three times a week, I go down to London, either the outskirts or central London, because that's where a lot of my clients are. And then I try to spend a couple of days in the office, catching up on paperwork, um, doing some analysis, because it's one of those skills that you have to keep yourself refreshed. You can't just walk away from it for two or three weeks and expect to pick up where you left up. It is really, um, it's something I have to keep reminding myself of. Amazing. Uh, so Adrian, you know, throughout our entrepreneurial and business challenge, we do come across a lot of challenges. Yes. So what would you say was the greatest challenge for you in your business and how did you manage to overcome it? Um, the greatest challenge, and it's, it's an ongoing challenge, is helping people realize that this skill actually can really benefit their business. Um, 
Uh, and alongside that challenge is I can go so broad with my business. I've, I've decided to focus on the market research world because that's my background. Because if you think about this skill that we have, we could go in any industry. So sales, marketing, HR, recruitment. And so that's been a really big challenge for me to focus and just not get distracted from what we, the core that we do. Because we get asked to do so, so many interesting things and it'd be really easy to zip here, zip here, zip there. And that way you haven't got a consistent lucrative business. If, if I know I learned that the hard way. <laughs> um, but as I said, the other challenge is, is helping people to see how it can benefit them. Um, so that it's not woo woo, that, that there is rock solid science behind this. Um, way of understanding other people so that that's a really big challenge that's an ongoing one and it, I'm always looking for ways to to make it more what's the word acceptable to people and that you know prove the science underneath it and and how do you do that how do you prove it to them demonstrations really so if I can get in front of someone face to face and show them some of the work that we've done and how it really benefits our clients that's the most impressive way. You know, I can tell people, or oh, we've got 200 um, size sample of people who did this and said this, but if I show them one video clip of it actually happening, that's it, then they're sold in. Amazing. Uh, so Adrian, uh, you know, we also throughout our journey in, in, in years of experience, we come across a lot of successes. Yes. What would you say was the greatest success that you had in your business? Oh, I've had a few. Um, last year, I won an award. Uh, well, I won two awards, actually, from um, a marketing group I'm in. There was 200 applicants. I was so happy with that. I was really happy with that. Um, and just getting to work with some of the clients I do, uh, you know, our, our clients are Unilever, Premier Foods. We've got some big brand names, and it's, it's a real... I get a buzz every time I walk in through their office doors and think, wow, I'm here in my own right. And I, I love that. Absolutely love it. Amazing. Uh, also, as, as entrepreneurs, we come up with a lot of great ideas. Yeah. Where would you say do you come up with your best ideas? Um, when I've got thinking time. So that's either on the train or in the car. Um, in the car, I try to listen to audio books and that really sparks ideas. So that they're business books. Um, generally recommended, go on to Audible or any of those other, you know, apps and listen to and that's how you get idea that's how i get my ideas i'm thinking time just thinking now how does that connect with what i already do and how could i use that to take us another step forward because that's what we're always trying to do can't stand still in business as you know yeah definitely <laughs> um uh, so adrian uh, i'm sure that you know throughout the years you've been an inspiration to a lot of people uh but you yourself uh do you have people that inspire you or so-called personal heroes um, yeah, I've got a few really. There's, uh, I don't know if you've heard of Jen Sincero. The, the, she wrote the books Badass and um, How to Be a Badass About Money. And it, she really, she, she wasn't successful until she was in her mid 40s. And she, she really details in her books about how the struggle she's had. Um, and she's really realistic about business and, you know, what it takes to actually break through a lot of the barriers that we have in business. And she's a real a real inspiration to me because it's sort of any age, it doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. It doesn't matter if you put the effort in and go for what you really want to achieve. Awesome. And as we already touched on the, on one of the books, I, I come across a lot of people who say that at some point in life, they came across a book that changed their life. Yeah. Was that the book for you or was it something else? No, that wasn't the book for me. The One of the, the, the books that changed my life a few years ago, and it's a really random book, is Blink by Malcolm Gladwell. And it's sort of all the stuff that I'd learned and I'd tra trained in, he put it all together in one book and made it really accessible for the masses. And it's, I just think everyone should read that book because it really gives you an insight to people and how they react and how to trust your own self and your gut instincts. So that's one I would really recommend. And I would say it was life changing for me. So Malcolm Gladwell and the book was Blink. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, will we'll be one of the books on my to-do list. Uh, Adrian, you, you've been in the business for a long time. Uh, and you know, 
obviously you have a lot of knowledge, experience and wisdom. So out of your knowledge, experience and wisdom, would you share with us your top three tips and strategies for any entrepreneur to drive the business and life forward? Okay, my top tip is don't get distracted. Um, as entrepreneurs, we have a lot of freedom, but don't get distracted from what you originally set out to do. That would be my top tip. And it's one I've had to learn the hard way. And to get that focus and really keep going with what you believe your gut instinct is the right way to do is, is my top tip. Um, second tip is be consistent in your marketing, in your messages your branding, everything that you do, be consistent because it builds a really nice backstory if you can just keep being consistent. And my third tip, oh, I can't think of a third one. <laughs> oh, I've got to think of one now, I've got to think of one. Um, actually, people, interact with lots of other interesting people and not just for what you think they may be able to do for you, but just connect with people because it's people is where... As entrepreneurs, we need people because we can get very lonely unless you work with a team. I've got a small team around me, I'm lucky, but it can get really lonely. So connect with people, even if they can never ever add anything to your business. Having those connections with other people is really important. Amazing. Thanks for sharing that with us. The distraction would be one for me <laughs> to get over. I think it it's true like you know as entrepreneurs we we, we struggle sometimes to uh, you know to kind of switch off all the distractions and yeah. concentrate and focus on, on the primary thing to do and we start you know spinning hundreds of plates yes. yeah. and uh, you know and, and then something else will come across all, all these shiny objects and we'll yes. you know so that's yeah that's I, I, I love anything shiny bright and new and have an idea and think oh we can go and do that and no <laughs> focus 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 <laughs> so adrian I, i'm sure you also um within the years you, you came across a lot of resources that helped you in, in your business. Would you share some of the best resources you found for yourself? Um, I think Facebook is an underestimated resource. Um, I think a lot of business people dismiss Facebook, but actually you can make some really great connections, join some groups and meet some really interesting people. And you know, I saved loads of articles that I come across on Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, similar, um and there's some great websites out there so business balls is a great resource for anyone who's in coaching or training um I'm trying to think what else i use regularly twitter has also been one that i you know I, I save loads of articles off twitter people share so much information that if we're just willing and open to accept it from any source that actually there's 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 lots of stuff out there that we can benefit from Amazing. Thank you for that. Um, Adrian, you've been in a business for a long time. You know, you, you obviously had your, your challenges, your successes. Uh, but what is next for you? What's your next big goal, aim, dream? And if there was somebody potentially listening to us today who could help you to get there, who would it be? Okay, so my next big goal is I want to speak very um, widely about my subject. I'm really passionate. Hopefully that comes across about my, you know, understanding the face and emotions. So I really want to speak on the world stage. Um, so world domination, I, I got told off for saying that the other day. But I mean my world domination. I don't mean literally the world domination. <laughs> but I, I really want to speak um, as I love speaking in front of an audience and I think my subject is really interesting for lots of people. So I want to take it out far and wide and hopefully inspire other people to use this information that's readily there available for everybody. It's literally, as the series lie to me says, it's written all over our faces. So I want to speak on the world stage about this subject and help other people to really get it and show in a practical way how everybody can use it. So that's my next goal. Adrian, we are coming to the end of the show, but before we say our goodbyes, is there anything else you would like to add or advise on today? No, nothing else to add. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this forum to, to speak to you. And it's, it's been great meeting you. You're one of the people, you know, that actually it's great to have this connection with. We may never be able to work together, but with different businesses, but great to have these connections. So I, I would say to everybody, keep making connections. 
Adrian, for anyone who would like to connect with you in any shape or form, what's the best way to do it? Um, my website is www.d-coded.co.uk and then all our contact details are on there. You can drop me an email from there. You can give me a call, whichever suits people to contact me. Um, I'm on LinkedIn if anyone wants to connect on LinkedIn as well. Um, Adrienne Carter and it's um, Litchfield, Staffordshire. Well, thank you again for making the time and coming on the show today. It's been a great pleasure to have you and I look forward to meeting in person. Thank you very much.